Hi, uh, this is T. Ranjini. Uh, in this video, uh, we will see how the digital sensor is connected to ESP32. So, this is the hardware uh, connections uh, uh, that is IR sensor is uh, connected to ESP32 in the pin number 26 and uh, IR sensor VCC pin is connected to 5 volt and the uh, ground pin is connected to ESP32 ground and the uh, uh, output is output uh, device is connected to the 27th pin that is a uh, LED is connected to 27th pin and then uh, negative uh, lead connected to the ground. Now this is the hardware connection made the IR sensor is connected with ESP32. So this digital sensor is uh, interfaced with the ESP32 when the object is detected uh, the output will be low. Uh, this is the property of the IR sensor because this is the active low output IR sensor. So now uh, we, uh, we can uh, simulate the circuit. Uh, in the MATLAB Simulink, we have uh, uh, taken the circuit of uh, digital sensor circuit uh, where the digital input pin um, uh, that is we have taken as 26th pin where IR sensor is connected to the ESP32 and the LED is connected to pin number 27 and uh, these two are uh, connected and the uh, one display we have connected in order to get the digital output. First in the Simulink circuit we have to uh, select the hardware board. So configuration parameter you open it and then you select the hardware implementation then you select the hardware board so if you are using Arduino board you can select Arduino you know or if you are using ESP32 so we can select this ESP32 so once you have selected this board then in the target hardware resources you have to select the pin number so, if it is 38 pin, you can use the 38, 30 or 36. So, here I am using 38 pin and uh, host board connection. Uh, we, we can select this as automatically. If it is automatically not detected, then we can go for manually specify. So, how we can get this port? We can uh, open the device manager. So, in the device manager, we can get the port under this port we can get the port number so this is the esp32 com port number so i am specifying this com port and we can select the board rate if it is arduino we can select the body arduino board 9600 or we can select this board as 115200 so serial port also serial zero communication then you can give ok then this window will be opened automatically once you have selected the hardware board as uh, hardware board external hardware board then this window will be opened now we can uh, run this uh, program so just run monitor and tune so this will be compiled so building started code generation started so the code will be dumped to this uh, ESP32 and uh, we will get the corresponding output so when object is detected we will get that output low circuit code generation is not yet completed so we are getting the board so successfully it is downloaded now it start running so IR sensor when object is not detected then output will be low so uh, here We are getting that output when object is not detected, output is 1. When object is detected, then output will be low. So, I am see here when the object is detected, 
then output is low in the display also we are getting zero led also switched off so when object is not detected then output is high and then led is glowing so in the same circuit if we use the not gate here then we will get the reverse operation that is when object is detected we will get output high and when object is not detected output will be low so object not detected so we are getting led high and this is one see here when object is detected this display showing zero and also led is off okay thank you so next video we will see how we can connect that uh, analog input how it is sensing how we will get the analog uh, uh, sensor output in the esp32 thank you